so for those of you who maybe missed us uh, yesterday morning, I've been, uh, I thought it'd be, uh, well, I just really found my spirit. It'd be the, the right thing to do was just to read this poem, uh, spoken word over us. It's something that Steph Liston came up with uh, about four or five years ago at New Day uh, when he was seeking inspiration for the last meeting of, uh, of New Day. And uh, the long story short, he went over to McDonald's in the afternoon. He's meant to be preaching in the evening to this, you know, six, 7,000 kids. And uh, he's like, God, I don't know what to say. And he, just over a McFlurry felt like God really gave him a download of this spoken word, which was um, caught on to by a guy called Dan Jones, who's a, um, a, an artist. Um, and Dan put some great images to it. And so we're going to, we're picking up um, on the page, which looks like this. So we left it yesterday with uh, Jesus had been mocked, flogged, beaten, whipped, um, and he, was, he went to the cross for the church. And so just want to encourage you, these are really powerful words. And so if you want to, feel free to close your eyes. I'm going to do my best to um, do justice to this spoken word. So just imagine for a moment, Jesus is hanging on the cross. The nails have been driven through his wrist and through his feet. There's a crown of thorns on his head. His back is, has been laid bare by the whips and the beatings of the soldiers. And there he is. And as the darkening skies were looming, as the jostling crowds found room in front of this, forsaken God man to many more no more than an odd man but as they stood before the cross as they stood before such loss as they stuck stood and looked and wondered some concluded he's just blundered others busy self-defending cried out hey why can't yourself be mending one thief mocked and hurled abuse at the other said, hey, what's the use of pulling down this righteous figure? We deserve this. He's much bigger. Royalty, that's what I'm seeing. He's more than just a human being. We deserve this. He is pure. I'm filthy. He's the cure. Jesus, please remember me when your kingdom you receive. Jesus, Jesus, don't forget me. Jesus, Jesus, please don't let me slip away into the darkness. Don't let the last words be my hardness. Remember me, majestic one. Remember me, O oh God's great son. Jesus turned and looked with pity on this sight that was not pretty, on this man with now to offer, who previously had been a scoffer. Today, my friend, will be in glory when all this madness quietens down i'm writing you into the story they'll hear of you from town to town from this point on you are a son said he who was and is and is to come and as the crowds were looking on there at the edge she stood his mum this blessed lady now caught up in mighty things that there was no stopping. But Jesus hanging saw her face, his mother's face, his mother's face drawn and agonized with pain. Without him, how would she live again? He called to John, you see my mother? Right now, she needs her son, my brother. Right now, she needs to be adopted and you're the guy. For you, I've opted. Please now treat her like your mum. And mum, see John, he's now your son. Between you both, you can find strength. The road ahead is quite a length. If I know you've got each other, it'll help me even as I suffer. This is how he rolls, God's son, who was and is and is to come. And as the sky was dark with blackness and as his body hung in slackness the temple curtain started to rip the darkness kingdom started to flip the ancient serpent feels the bruising on his head by jesus's wounding 
the demon powers start their wailing in disbelief that Jesus is nailing to the cross is their undoing. They knew that something big was brewing, but not as big as this to pay the debt that makes a brand new way for every tribe and tongue to walk through, every young and old to dance through, every boy and girl to sing through, every dirty one cleansed through. As Jesus lifted up a cry, as he allowed himself to die, he cried out, my job is done. Here, my father, comes your son. The spirit realm was filled with blood red. The shot soldier standing by the cross said, surely this was God's own son who was and is and is to come. What came next was very quiet. If you didn't know, you just passed by it. Jesus lay behind a rock, disappointment fit to drop, tired, exhausted those who'd followed. Hopes and dreams turned out so hollow. What could there be now for them? but bitter memories to the end. Nostalgia maybe, nothing more. Underlying just how poor they were without him gone, their master, may life just fly away faster. There's nothing now worth living for. His, in his eyes, they had seen more. The more their souls they knew were made for, the more their deepest depths they craved for. In his eyes, they'd seen it there. In his eyes, they dreamed and dared. But behind the silent stone, something else was going on. Have you ever tried stopping life from living? Or telling grace, or you, stop giving? Or keeping love away from kissing? Or stopping parted lovers missing? If these things just cannot be done, how could death, Keep the king, the son, the word of life from walking freely from its grasp. This thing was easy. Up we get. That's it. Job done. He was and is and is to come. After 40 days of visits, of causing folks to think, hmm, is it? After proving without doubt, yes, it is. You're free to shout and sing and dance, it's really me. Yes, dance and sing, you're now set free to tell the world your saviour's living. The cross, it really was me giving hope and life to all who trust, truth and peace. Yes, these things must be shouted out in every nation, the glad tidings of salvation. And after these great 40 days, there came the moment to part ways but not before he made them vow. I'm here with you now. I'm here with you here and with you now, but also with you when I go. Also with you tomorrow and the next day and after that. This is true. This is fact. I'm with you till this is done, said he who was and is and is who come. So comfort, comfort one and all, comfort to the great, and the small, comfort from the King of glory, comfort in your messy story, comfort from the rock of ages, comfort when the battle rages, comfort from the Lord of wonder, comfort from his voice of thunder, comfort from the songs of angels, comfort in the trials and dangers, comfort from the only one who was and is and is to come and healing in your wounds and failings, healing in your cries and wailings, healing in your silent musings, healing for your foolish choosings, healing by the Lord your healer, healing from all the wicked stealer has tried to rub into your pain and tried to make you live again and tried to kill you by repeating lies on lies on lies, so eating you up from the inside, killing all your hope, of ever feeling his forgiveness and his lightness, his redemption and his brightness. So healing now to you, my friend, healing from the king who will send all the power you ever need, all the love so you can feed on all the good stuff from his throne. You're welcomed in, you're welcomed home. Healing flows from God's good son who was and is 
and is to come. And as we ponder what will happen tomorrow and then through the years, we realize there's no map and there's so much bother, both far and near, so much over the horizon, so much that we just don't know, so much we can't get our eyes on, so much that our minds could blow. But there is one thing we can settle, one thing we can know for sure, he's above it, he is with us, we can trust him, he is more, he is more than we could imagine, he is more than we could dream, he is more than we could hope, if the fountain, the river, the cleansing stream, he will come again in power, he will rise us from the dead, every eye will see his splendor, Faithful are the words he said, so we can rest our weight upon them. We can give our lives for this. We can daily offer up the pain, the mess, the joy, the bliss, because we're the ones been found by Jesus. We've been chosen by the Son. Yes, we are in awe of him who was and is and is to come.